Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by by Jackson Lee, of course, who will be uh, driving in the in the USF Pro 2000 uh, series for Turn 3 Motorsport. How's it going, bud? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me. How you been? I've been good, bud. Uh, it's been a while since you've been on here, so um, figured we uh, figured we'd get you on. Uh, see you kind of grew a little something during the off season. Yeah, a little bit of an off season, more of a lazy keep, but uh, yeah, why not? We'll try it. <laughs> so, how have you been, though, bud? I've been good. Yeah, everything's been going well on the racing side. Um, I'm happy to be able to get the deal done with uh, with Turn Three, and happy to have some very strong partners coming back and some new partners as well. Um, so that's all really exciting. Um, and you know, life at home's not been too bad either. I'm still a student in college, so getting through that. So. So where are you going to college? Life right now. Where are you going to college? I am a student at what's right now called Indiana University, Purdue University um, in Indianapolis, but they're going to split soon. So eventually I'll be just a Purdue student in their motorsports engineering program. Um, awesome. But for now it's IEPUI. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot about IPU. IPU. Right. Yeah, I forgot. Still trying to get used to the college stuff there down in Indiana. Yeah. So, um, so to get this opportunity, you're moving up um series what's that going to be like um to 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 move up and you know compete for a pretty good team yeah um oh, i'm very excited for one um i think the biggest difference is going to be really the competition um the cars are obviously they have their differences there's a lot more downforce in the usf pro car uh there's a little bit more power um but as far as like the driving styles go they're fairly similar it just takes a little more commitment to drive a pro car uh, but the competition is a lot stronger in pro this year. Um, I think there's a lot of great drivers that I'm going to have to uh, race against. So I'm excited to to see how I stand up against them and see what we have. Yeah. So so talk about just um, you know of course you were down at the test at Sebring with most of the uh, most of the uh, the uh, the USF field. Um, so what's that gonna? So what was that like to just kind of get used to the cars there? Yeah. This was um, this would have been my sixth day in the car now i've done, had two more days at sebring and i did the uh ball combine at ims um so we're getting getting comfortable with the car i think we're gonna have a strong package uh come st pete um so i'm excited to see how we roll off the field is very tight it has been in testing um and i think it's it's gonna take a lot of work to be at the front of the pack for sure from anyone um and every team so uh we are we're we're working as hard as we can to make sure that we are at the sharp end of the field and um Doing, doing everything we can. The team and I have worked well together so far. Um, so I'm happy to see how we progress together. Any more tests coming up? We'll have spring training, uh, which will be a week before St. Pete back at Sebring. Um, and other than that, it's just one practice session and then we got to go qualify. All right. Well, let's talk about what you've been up to this off season besides all this testing. What have you been doing? Uh, really, I've been full focus on some sort of racing um i'm i'm a college student at um as i mentioned and uh at indiana university Purdue university and i've been studying their motorsports engineering program so using that to try and um learn what i can to help myself in racing on the business and engineering side um so that's been good and along with that just trying to put our program together and i'm i'm um very proud of the partners who um we've i've been able to represent they're all um they're all very great people to work with. Um, and I've got some really cool, cool brands we're working with. So it's super thankful to have people like the Indiana University, Melvin and Brent Simon Comprehensive Cancer Center on board. They were um, our primary last year and are again going to be our primary sponsor. So um, super, super happy to have them on board along with Race for RP. Uh, we got to do some work with last year. I'm, I'm super happy to have them on board as well, um, along with other partners like Browning Chapman, who is another big sponsor and big supporter for the past couple of years. Glad to have them back on board. Um, and I'm also excited to um, now this year be a QSIC Motorsports Development Driver. Um, that's that's a cool program that I'm, I'm excited to be a part of. And um, some other small partners who have all been working really hard. And um, it's it's all because of them that I get to drive a car this year. So I'm, I'm super thankful for all of their support. Do you think that, just, uh, just to kind of talk about what it's like to be um to be a race car driver just like going through all the motions and all that stuff um you know getting in the car 
you know, staying in shape, getting out and getting partners. This what just what is it like? Because it's a because it's an action. Because it's like you just don't race cars. You just have you have to do all the other stuff. Plus, uh, just do stuff like this too. Yeah, well, I mean, I've obviously been a driver my whole life in some sort, and it's just sort of been part of me. Um, I but back when I was younger, it was just going to go kart tracks as a kid and having fun, and it still is very fun. And I we I do it because I love it, just like everyone else does. Uh, but it, it truly has became a full time job over the past few years. We we have to work hard to make sure that I'm staying in shape and at the top of my game um, going into each race weekend and also doing what we can to be able to put these programs together and to be able to give our partners what we can to help them um, and to just make sure that the entire team is at its best as it can be before we go into the season. And it's, I'm, I'm very fortunate to have um, a lot of great connections through, uh, through my dad, who's um, Kevin Lee, who's a broadcaster for NBC sports and has worked with IndyCar. Yeah. He has, he, he's had a lot of great connections and has, has also done a lot of hard work to help, help me learn and help, um, find a lot of, a lot of supporters. And then also my mom has helped, um, helped us figure this out as well. She's been working in marketing for a while and, and has a little bit of a taste of that. So, um, team, team Jackson Lee racing has, has been working hard and it's, 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 it's cool to see, um, see packages come together and, and to be able to, to learn um the business aspect of the sport as well as become a better driver on track it's 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 a lot of hard work and it's really satisfying when it all comes together yeah for sure and of course ja and of course jackson is not a familiar is a very familiar face to watchers of this channel of course he's been on here before um uh, but um uh, kind of reminding everybody you've kind of taken the ne you've kind of taken all these uh, all these steps to get to where you are this is a i believe this will be your first time in this series um this year what's it going to be like uh to get used to uh, take the next step on the uh on the journey to uh on the journey to indycar yeah well it's at the end of the day it's still a race car it's all the same tracks i've been going to with the exception of a few new ones right. um and it's 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 been fairly simple to transition the team turn three and, and and peter dempsey and everyone there have made it pretty simple to transition um, and, and they've been helping me be able to learn the car as quick as possible. So now it's just, we got to show up on weekends and do our job. Um, there's not much else to that. Um, it's, you know, it's a bigger step. It's a bigger car. Um, it's, it's tougher competition, but you just got to look at it as you're, you're going to the racetrack and doing what you've been doing your whole life. And, and that's what I plan to do. All right. I'll, uh, I don't think we've ever done this before, but let's get to know you a little bit, Jackson. How about that? All right. All right. Um, what is your go-to place for food? So like, this is like uh, all time. So when you're not on a diet or anything like that, where, where, where do you like to go? Well, I, uh, I always seem to be on the road, whether I'm going, uh, to and from class or, or to the airport and back. Um, so I go for the quick options. Chick-fil-A has got to be my go-to. Um, I like Culver's. Um, this is good. we've got a couple of those in, in the, Indy, I mean, I'm, um, but really Chick-fil-A is my go-to. That's the, if, if I find one on the road, that's always my number one option. If you, if you see a famous professional athlete, would you go up to them and ask them for like an autograph or something? I, it, I'm in an interesting position with that. Cause with, with dad being working in motorsports, he's also worked as, um, a broadcaster for Pacers and, and the Colts and other oh, basketball. I forgot, I forgot about that, but I, I feel like I'm a little more on the, on the shy side. If I saw an athlete in public or whatever, I feel like I don't want to be, be a bother to them, but um, I don't know. I, 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 I'm not in that position too often. So yeah. I guess I, I don't really know, but um, I'm not, I, it is, it is cool to, to, to meet some of your heroes and, and I've had the opportunity to do that, especially in racing over my career. Um, so it depends on the situation, I guess. Yeah, I didn't realize asking that question. I just realized I forgot who your dad was. <laughs> um, so, okay. Um, favorite movie? Favorite movie? Um, I got to stick on the racing side here. Um, I love Rush. Uh, I love the Ford versus Ferrari, the, the newer one that came out recently. Yeah. Um, I'd say those two are probably my two favorite Um I loved um, Remember the Titans as well for staying off of racing for a little bit. I thought that was a really cool movie, um, as well as Hoosiers, Indiana basketball guy, played basketball growing up. So 
got to go with that one as well. Yeah, of course, Indiana just had a big win against Michigan just a few minutes ago. So yeah. yeah. Um. Okay. Um. Okay. This might be a favorite TV or streaming show you're really into right now. I don't watch a lot of TV shows. Hey, uh, so, okay, you're on a you're on a plane most of the time. So what do you do? Are, are you? Yeah. On a not not really a big streaming guy. I did um, oh, what was it? I liked All American, um, okay. when that when that was big. Um, Still, yeah, I don't watch. Yeah, I don't watch a whole lot of um. Okay, so whole, like, okay, like so you you're you're flying to a lot of places. Like, are you like are you sleeping a lot? Or are you just like most of the time? Yeah. Um, I try to I try to get a little bit of work done on the plane sometimes, but majority yeah, I just pass out and try and get through it planes are, are really tight for a six foot four guy so um as whatever i can do to pass the time yeah, I've got um, a six five so <laughs> yeah yeah I, I mean i'm i think i'm five eleven or six foot I, I don't really know but i'm right yeah yeah try to avoid planes every chance i get um and then okay so dig through this one what is something people do not know about jackson lee oh um it's an interesting question there's off the top of my head not a ton um I mean I I, I work at a rental go-kart track which I know some people know but that's where I spend some of my free time um oh man um my favorite band is fallout boy we'll go with that oh yeah oh geez there you go. okay all right I don't think a lot of people know that so yeah i didn't know that either all right um all right well jackson thanks so much man for coming on and we'll uh, definitely talk to you throughout the throughout the season yeah thanks for having me